What is up, guys? I'm Zaf. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time Terror. Come back at you with a new show. We're watching The Bear. This is season one, episode one, System. I know that this show has to do with Lip Gallagher. Uh, I forget his actor's name. Jeremy Allen White. Yeah, I'm a big fan of him. I loved him in Shameless. I watched all of Shameless, one of my favorite shows. But uh, I heard this is like similar to shameless in a way and he is in a restaurant he's working at a restaurant and he is the bear so i'm excited to see him act like a bear you might be disappointed i think i don't know if he's going to act like a bear <laughs> but or yeah. i don't think he is a bear yeah <laughs> but <laughs> no, no no but yeah i know i think a little bit more about this show that i probably don't want to say in the intro just like his situation yeah keep it a secret that i've heard but also there is another character in here that we all know, and I don't know if you guys know. Let me know. It's like a main character, and I'm gonna wait until oh, it starts okay. and see if you guys recognize them. Son of a gun. It is someone that was on another show that we've watched. Sweet. Yeah, I'm really excited to watch this show. Um, I think we're, we're biggest reason we're doing it is because season two is coming up very very soon, and uh, this is one of the the shows that was on our last show poll. And if you guys don't know already, already like. The poll was just full of shows that we wanted to watch. So this show has been our, on our radar for a while. We've wanted to check it out. And the time has come. Like Zuff said, Jeremy Allen White is in this. I'm also a big fan of him. I've only ever seen him in Shameless, um, but he's fantastic in that show. And I do know that this this is like, I'm pretty sure it also takes place in like the south side of Chicago. So I, I can see how his character in this might show some similarities to the how he was in shameless but i'm sure they're going to be pretty different characters if you guys do like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description our first link is going to be the patreon we do our full watch alongs over there and early access make sure you check that out our second link is going to be the discord come talk about the bear with us we talk about all the tv shows and movies we do over there we got a great community and lastly follow our social medias our instagrams and twitters and send us some stuff to the address at the very bottom of the description that is our po box we do mail time on the channel so make sure you send us some cool stuff and yeah We'll catch you guys in season one, episode one of The Bear. Can't wait to get into it. Let's do it. There's Lip. I can tell by his walk. That's it? Right. Yeah, I can. I remember him walking like that. Let's be real. This is crazy. Is he, like, trying to catch something? It's Looks like it. So I get to see a real bear. Is there a bear in there? Yeah. Why is it on the bridge? What is, what is... In what possible scenario could have happened to lead you here? You might wonder how I ended up here. Dream. Oh, uh, it's Whoa. like a nightmare he has, maybe? Like a, re work. like a reoccurring nightmare? Huh. Yeah, no, no, we're, we're really grateful to still be open after everything. <laughs> still trying to figure this place out. That's what he's known for, his cigarettes. He's doing everything, and I want to get you your money. Doesn't look like it's going well. Bring it here? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Bye. Hi. Hello. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's who I thought it was. I know that person. That's Janine's sister from yeah. Abbott Elementary. Aisha. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Carmi, um, hey. here, you give me your... Uh, um, yes. So his name is Carmi. Uh, Linnea from Chicago. Uh, United Parcel Service. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. The one. That's the, the UPS. Mail. Yeah. The UPS. Well, so... CIA? Uh, CIA, yeah. Okay, so what are you doing here? You know, this, um, this was my dad's favorite spot when I was a kid. I know who you are. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I mean, you're the most DC at the most excellent restaurant. It looks like he needs a shower. It's true. So. Is he famous for something? Making sandwiches. Yeah. Tina, Carmen, Ibrahim, where does it be? It's in the other. Carmen? Flowers, okay? That's my pot, Jeff. Everybody knows. That's sort of pot. Right. Use another pot, please. This yeah. is like his first day here, I think. His? Yeah. There's no way. 
I mean, they were just saying, don't mess up our system. I think it was her first day. No, they, they said that's her pot. Um, I, I maybe like his parent or something used to run this and they passed away and now he has to like take responsibility for it or something. That's a shot in the dark, but... <laughs> oh, dude, I remember yeah. saying behind in, in the restaurants I worked in. Behind? Me and Rob worked at a restaurant together. Briefly. Briefly. Bottom right side of walk-in. I worked at a few restaurants. I worked at one with Zuff too, kind of. I hop. No. I worked at I hop. So they have like this arcade thing here and they mm -hmm. run tournaments too. That's probably yeah. big source of income. I feel like he just discovered that freaking thing though. Because he didn't know there was money in it. Well, like I said, I think he just got here. Oh, shit. I got all kinds of receipts for my divorce lawyer backing up because all the time I'm spent trying to put your family back together because you're too much of a cocksucker to... Holy shit, dude. That just got heavy as hell. Yeah, remember? I was running it fine without you. Why didn't he leave it to you then? Hmm. What do you Carmen? Heard. I don't like the cousin. I mean, we don't know the story at all, but I just didn't like that confrontation there. When the hell do we come in and talk? I don't know. And provide I, any commentary. I, there's, it doesn't stop talking. I just want to let them do their job. <laughs> I want them to yes, chef. be able to cook food. No. Improvements need to be made. I don't know, dude. I do get their point no, of view. It's I, like a, I get it, for sure. The long-established family thing, probably. The buck's not gonna get him anywhere, Bear. It's just too difficult. Yeah, fact, that's the point. It's I call him Bear. Also, sorry. I didn't make it to the funeral. I sent flowers. His brother. Look nice. I don't know, I wasn't there. How long is this going to take? Oh, shit, dude. It's just one of those shows where we're just going to slowly learn more and more about trauma that he's been holding in. Oh. I can't, dude. It, it gives me anxiety. Is that his knife? Oh, he's gonna freak the fuck out, dude. It's probably chipped or something. There's a problem. I'm trying to enjoy my tacos. You're ruining my date, right? So this guy, he pulls out a revolver. Dude, I literally get TikToks of those knives, people like repairing them and stuff. They're really nice. I see them cooking stuff outside with it. Or is it his brother's knife? Oh, it might be his brother's knife. Yo. Are you playing the bag or anything? That's how you say hello to me. I feel like there's just so much sadness going on that we just have no idea about. I mean, he said he wasn't at the funeral. And his sister doesn't come around here anymore. I like your hat, Marcus. <laughs> okay, so he was like a big time up and coming chef. And his life probably just completely changed.
Uncle Jimmy wants to buy this place. Mm, it's not for sale. I know, that's what I wanted to tell you. That it's not for sale? No, that I think we should sell it to him. So we can flip it into an Applebee's? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to do... ...it for you to come home. Gotta go. Um, okay. Okay? He's the bear. Let's go. Mm, they're probably going to be so good, bro. You guys ever had Italian beef before? Oh, yeah, dude. Italian beef is just in, un, unreal. It's so good. It's redundant and white, just like you. Hell yeah. Oh my god. He's getting fucking jumped. Is there just a big brawl outside now? What the fuck? Oh, Yo. whoa. Kazo. Has a gun in his hand. Also, I hate litter. So you cocks are gonna clean up after you <laughs> you're gonna goddamn recycle. <laughs> not dope at all. What are you talking about? I brought that crowd in, that's a lot of money out there. Now we're not prepped for. Swear to God, today was not the day to go fucking with the system. System, system, cousin. Hey, I don't So we are going to stick with what works, and we are going to fucking make sure we got enough food to feed these fucking dorks. Sydney, sorry about the gun, babe. I had to get real. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite line of the show so far. Oh my gosh. <laughs> sorry about the gun, babe. About to get real. Or had to get real. He might just be the better manager. Yeah, I mean, I think they just need to work together. Like, they both have things that they are more knowledgeable of. <laughs> yeah, like, I think Carmen's onto something with the food, but he just doesn't know how to run this place like they do. All right, so I want to start by clarifying what I knew going into it. Uh, just in, for any confusion, too, is that I knew he he is, like, a very renowned chef. Mm -hmm that like I think moved away or something and yeah his brother passed and he's back to take over the family business I'm pretty sure yeah and yeah it just seems like he's trying to like incorporate all this like bougie uh stuff that he learned in his other place like and this is just a family restaurant that I mean, if, if you know, like a failing recipe, you don't, it's just the same recipe. It's a you, system. You don't change stuff or at least like that, that drastically, yeah, that dramatically. Like, and it seems like he's even at the end there, like, I don't, I think he wants to make his own sauce or something. Like he didn't want to use like the canned, like spaghetti sauce or maybe even not he, even make yeah. the spaghetti. I don't know. I really like this first episode though. I feel like, uh, it's just going to be one of those shows that is so good and so emotional I, I could definitely see myself like getting emotional or crying at something super sad later on but uh i'm excited to just learn more about carmen bear like they call i feel like they call him so many different things but he just seems like a really interesting guy i want to learn more about his relationship with his brother and like the rest of his family because so far it just seems so weird like He's, he took over, like his brother left him the business is what it seems, but he didn't go to his brother's funeral and like, I don't know. They definitely just have to let us know more information throughout the show. 
the bear gets this restaurant going though it's gonna be satisfying he's gonna everyone i can't wait to see like the success the people coming in loving his food i mean they all love this his beef that he made so it's gonna be awesome when everything he is doing pays off in the end I think they need to like still keep some of the family values though, 100%. and the traditions. Like, you can't just fully change the menu and expect yeah. like regulars to be like, yeah, sure. But I think adding like a new th- like new playing to stuff mm-hmm. could be definitely a good thing. Stuff can always get improved. It just you can't fully change everything. They need to find a happy medium. Like, like there's he definitely knows what he's doing. Like talking about when it comes to food. Um, but like I said, I feel like they, they just know how to run this business. Like they know how it's run. There is a system like the episode is called and, uh, shout out to cousin at the end. I, I did not, he was not giving me good vibes at the beginning. I just thought he was a jerk, but, um, I like the way that he stood up for Carmen outside with like all the, all the nerds there for the tournament. Um, and I feel like, I, I feel like I do understand what he's trying to emphasize more now, uh, after his little speech at the end. Um, and I feel like they would just do so well if, if everybody could just be on the same page. I actually really liked, um, all the other chefs. I thought they were really cool. Yeah. I think I said it during, but like just the, like the way it's shot and like how fast paced everything is, it just makes me like feel so crazy because it's just so fast paced and like, like I said during, I think we've all worked at restaurants and like when it does get to like a rush hour and it gets very fast, I'm sure a lot of people can relate. It just gets mm. so hectic and like even like the kitchen, like jargon, like behind corner, like stuff like Heard. that. It's just, it's just constant talking. And I just, that's one thing I don't miss from working at a restaurant is just the fa- how fast paced it can get. And just like, uh, I'm not built for that really. I don't know. But I never, uh, Talk like that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Would you work in the kitchen at the restaurant or front of house? I would work in the kitchen and the front. I mean, like, I didn't cook, but I was back there a lot when I was in IHOP. And no one said anything. <laughs> if you guys do like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We've got the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social medias. Make sure to follow those. And check out our PO box at the bottom of the description as well. But that is it for this episode. We'll catch you guys next time for Season 1, Episode 2 of The Bear. Peace out.